this week's playoff final win against Forest Green probably doesn't seem that long ago to the supporters, but for the players and staff it constitutes a different era. Paul Hurst has made 14 signings over the summer as league football returns to Blundell Park for the first time since 2010. One win in their last 10 at the end of last term saw Walkham heading in the opposite direction, but luckily for their matches ran out before that became a possibility. Lifted high towards the halfway line, the head just connected with there by Ellison. We'll break into Wilding. It's a good bit of footwork there for Wilding. There was a slight touch and he elected to stay on his feet. Could maybe have gone down there inside the penalty area, given the referee a decision to make early on. It was nicely taken on the thigh and then he didn't quite fall. It might now though, the right footed effort creeps in and Grimsby going to the lead, Caden Jackson his first goal after signing on loan from Barnsley. Walker looked like they had opportunities to clear there and just didn't really take any of them. A bit of work there by Berrett and they're appealing for something there, I'm not exactly sure what. They tucked it away nicely. That's a nice ball into the channel but Grimsby away with it. But Walker now back in possession. That's a neat layoff. Maybe the home team could break here. There's plenty of red shirts back, but they're on the retreat, and there's a good opportunity again. And that is superbly cleared off the line because it was very, very close to being 2 0, and nobody really came to close down here. But he was back there doing his job again, and he did it very well. The first touch was uh, not the best there. And back into the feet of Davis. A nice place pass. It should be easy enough here for Ellison. And he gets the clearance in down the line. But straight to Grimsby again. And that was a nice first touch. And he's managed to get a foot in there also. And could be another chance here. Maybe 2 0. Probably should have been 2 0. Jackson it was once more, just clips the outside of the post. Good work from Summerfield in the build-up. Measures it nicely. And perhaps I was a little harsh, the goalkeeper possibly had that corner covered. Again, just struggled to find a, a ball forward there. Roach. Under no real pressure, maybe he should have done a slightly better job. The snapshot to Wildig was well enough hit, but always soaring over the crossbar. Pulled not deep towards the far post, and there was Jackson again who pounced on it, but he had no kind of angle for the shot there at all. again and this could be another chance is he going to go for goal or come back across goal layoff was good and the follow-up strike unfortunately for Barrett went over the crossbar Davis just flight step deep into the penalty area Walker managed to get up and affect the clearing header Wildig who has been at the centre of most things good for the visitors so far Support there to the right hand side, and that's where it's broken. And Grimsby, architects of their own downfall there almost. The save was made by the keeper. Shot came in for Barkhausen, and again, with the outside of the boot, this time it goes wide of the bottom right hand corner. Grimsby making trouble for themselves there. Keeper header again 
was a poor one. They just took it straight back into danger, but could do come away with the ball and went straight into trouble. And then speak with Fuller Inward and give it away this time. Collides with the referee. It's all very untidy in the opening stages of this second half. Then speak a goal to the good. Excellent strike from Caden Jackson, his first goal for the club. And could this be another? Poorly struck. And here comes a long throw again, and he does get some real distance on this. Flat in towards the corner of the six-yard box. He's going to take the keeper. Looking to struggle to get too much going in open play. That's a long, long ball forward from the goalkeeper back into Jackson. Size up the top right hand corner there. Over in there. Missed it by some distance. Now for the chest was a good one. And that was a timely interception out of Gowler. He was out of position to be honest, but got away with it. Jackson. Jackson cuts back onto the right foot. Needs to pull the trigger. Did, but it was blocked. And then the follow-up was poor from Summerfield. I think that made contact maybe with the, the shoulder and the head, but it got the job done. Just turned it back towards his goalkeeper, by Boyce. And another long ball downfield. Sat up nicely to be hit, but crept over the crossbar. And there was a touch there from the Walker player, but he elected to keep going, and the free kick does come. Andrew was just pulled back slightly, and then a little bit of pushing and shoving. Mark Haywood has come over and sort that out. Player is being ushered over. The could be yellow card in the offing here, I think. And maybe the referee will content himself with just a, a quick conversation. But no, the, the yellow does come out and it's for Fleming. Davis goes up over the wall and into the top left hand corner. He got a touch on that roach, but not a strong enough one. And that seals it for Grimsby you would say at this stage goes for the top left hand corner and the goalkeeper will probably feel he should have saved that Andrew with the corner and that was an important defensive header the goalkeeper has gone AWOL and he's cleared off the line but Grimsby could still manufacture a chance here and this time the goalkeeper does grab it Try and grab a goal from somewhere, see if they can get back into this game. This could be the opportunity, goes down just on the edge of the penalty area. What's the referee going to do? It's a red card. A red card for Gowling, who brought his man down. He's claiming that it was inside the penalty area there, Ellison, but the referee is not having that. Mark Haywood giving the free kick, and Gowling looks frustrated, but I think he did the right thing. Tried to go round the side of the wall and there just wasn't really the space for Rose. He to try and put as much pressure on Grimsby as they possibly can now that they're down to 10 men, but it's probably come just a little bit too late in the game. Grimsby don't need to do anything too ambitious here, they just need to keep the ball. It's pushing right up towards the end of added time, but maybe they could add a third. The eventual shot there for Bogle was uh, a little bit tame to say the least. Ball is launched downfield and the final whistle does go. So despite the fact they were reduced to 10 men right towards the very end there, Grimsby have emerged fairly comfortable winners. Goals from Jackson and Davis, both of them with a first for the club. And to the finish, Grimsby 2, Walker 1.